Hello, I'm Lawrence Moroni for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The Game Developers Conference is coming to San Francisco on March 16th through the 20th. Everything kicks off with the Google for Games Developer Summit keynote, where product leaders from across Google will share the latest announcements for games developers. After the keynote, you can join in on two days of developer sessions and learn how to use Google solutions to create great games, connect with more players, and scale your business. You can watch the keynote and other Developer Summit sessions via the live stream at g.co slash gdc2020. Visit the post to check out the full agenda and sign up for updates. To support Android Open Source Project, or AOSP, developers, we're launching the Android Flash Tool, which allows you to flash devices with builds that are listed in the Continuous Integration Dashboard. You can use this to test changes in the Android OS or test your app for compatibility with the latest AOSP build. And if you have a browser that supports Web USB, such as Chrome 79 or Edge 79, you can flash the Android devices directly from the browser. Check out the post for more info and a link to try out the Android Flash tool for yourself. You can now run Windows Server containers on Google Kubernetes Engine. In the beta release of Windows Server Container Support in GKE, which is version 1.16.4, Windows and Linux containers can run side by side in the same cluster. This release also includes several other features such as private clusters, node auto upgrades, and a whole lot more. A link to the documentation and info on how to get started are in the post. Chrome 81 brings a bunch of new updates to DevTools, including Moto G4 support in device mode, updates to how cookies are displayed in the cookie pane, more accurate web app manifest icons, and more. Click through to the post to see all of the updates, including screenshots. We're really excited to announce the release of OpenSK, an open source implementation for security keys written in Rust that supports both FIDO UTF and FIDO2 standards. With this early release of OpenSK, you can make your own developer key by flashing the OpenSK firmware on a Nordic chip dongle. Check out the post for more on what's under the hood, as well as a link to the GitHub repository. The success of a machine learning project is often crucially dependent on the choice of good hyperparameters. Keras Tuner is an easy-to-use, distributable hyperparameter optimization framework that solves the pain points of performing a hyperparameter search. Check out the post for an end-to-end -end example, plus details on using Keras Tuner for distributed tuning, custom training loops, and a whole lot more. DevFest On Demand lets you watch DevFest talks from around the world anytime. These educational sessions feature local developers from all over the world who are part of the Google Developer Groups community. The topics include cloud, web, machine learning, mobile, and a whole lot more. Follow the link below to watch them on the DevFest site. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Lawrence Moroni for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. I'm a hyperparameter. Please optimize me.